primarily sweet rough cut barley seasoned with small amounts of Latakia, Turkish, and a dash of Perique for added flavor. This big blend from Cornell and Dill is a light English for burly lovers. It's pretty good. I can't really taste a lot of Kia all that much. <clears throat> been five months since my last confession I've <clears throat> it's been too hot to come outside and smoke pipes and do anything outside it's been too hot for my other channel airplanes trains and cows logistics on the move uh, it's been too hot to film it gets so hot that the equipment just burns up and dies midstream it's no good it makes people mad and they never We'll talk to you again. Uh, for those that don't know, my name is John. Hello. My friends call me Swamp. You know, if you go to, if I go to bed earlier, I feel a lot better. Lately, I've been staying up like 1.30 or 2. You get in those YouTube holes where you just... YouTube can figure that head out of yours. You know, they just keep popping stuff up. You're like, I'm going to bed. I'm not watching anything else. And you exit out of that video and like, BAM! There's another one. You're like, holy cow, what's that about? But anyways... Uh, Today we have 62% humidity. It's very nice out here. The temperature is about 82 degrees. And there's hardly, I mean, you can't feel the humidity like it normally has been. I mean, lately, you let the dogs out to pee at night and you're sweating. This is terrible. <clears throat> I think the higher the humidity, I think the lower my self-esteem. <clears throat> or mental health or whatever just don't feel good when it's that hot and you can feel football season coming in the air you can feel it I'm drinking some liquid death does anybody know why they call this liquid death Let me tell you, they call it liquid death because of all the plastic bottles are killing the fish in the ocean. And these cans won't, I guess. <clears throat> My ADHD's been kicking in. So, speaking of TV, my TV always, when you turn it on, it has these shows that the TV thinks that you'll watch. And for the last two months, it's had Civil War on the bottom left-hand corner. It's a new movie, Civil War. And, uh, you know, that kind of stuff interests me. I love war and stuff. And I went and read some reviews about it. And everybody's like, it sucks. It's terrible. Don't ever watch it. It sucks. And most common people would be like, okay, I'm going to, I won't, you know, they listen to critics. This is what I think of critics. But, you know, they listen to critics and, 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 and take their advice. So I talked to some of my pipe friends. I was like, hey, have y'all watched Civil War?
Alter. They're all like, no, he hurts, sucked. And one of them says it's leftist bull. I'm not going to use his language. He's got a foul mouth. Um, so I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, watching it, okay. I was like, hey, hon. I asked my wife, so hey, you want to watch this movie, Civil War? She's like, no, that doesn't look good at all. That's three times. Those are flags. So, what do I do? I rent it. So, me and the wife watch it. Now, with what's going on today in today's society, with everybody so split up, you have the leftists and you got the rightists, then you got the nightists. But, you see, you, gotta, you sort of have a feeling what the movie's about. You know, you figure that it's going to be about what a lot of people think is going to happen here. Not here, not in this backyard. We're going to be keeping, we're going to just be cutting grass, living life. So I figured it would be like that. I was like, how could you screw that up? That'd be a great plot for, you know, make a movie about it. So we watched the movie. It's got good actors in it. It's got Kirsten Dunst. She's a good actor, actress, whatever you're supposed to call them these days. You got the guy from Pablo Escobar. The guy that was Pablo Escobar, I don't know his name. He's he's a great guy. Love that love that guy. And there's some others. What you recognize. But I've never watched I mean I've watched some movies, but I've never watched a movie where after it's over you're like, What the hell happened? There was no, there was no, first off, from what I could perceive, there was something called the Western Forces, which would make sense, right? You'd think, oh, that's California and Oregon, Washington, and, you know, maybe Hawaii, you know, those, the, 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 the more blue states. You, but no, in the movie, the Western Forces were California and Texas had teamed up. What? And you didn't really know who was fighting who. You didn't know who the people were. There, there was a, one militia that had their hair painted in crazy colors with fingernail polish. But you didn't know who they were. They didn't tell you. You didn't know if they were the Western forces or... I guess they were fighting America because they were going into Washington, D.C. to kill the president, which was the basic plot of the movie. Uh, but. That's an A320 flying over. But who, I mean, it just didn't make any sense. And it's one of those movies that it's over. You're like, I just there's two hours I'll never get back. Now, why is it that my TV kept thinking I'd like that? Now, YouTube is accurate. They, you, the YouTube will pop something up and be like, Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, hey. But this. My gut said it was going to suck. My gut says it's going to suck. You got to listen to that gut. Gut spelled backwards is tug. Anyways. 
I guess the topic of this video is go watch Civil War and tell what you think about it. <laughs> okay, come on. One, two, three. Oh, yeah.